you know things ain't always sweet when you out here in these streets. But my morph when it morph, I made a fake. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the fan club. It's your boy Braz, Dan Brosnan in the building. We love you guys. And if you like this content, you know what to do. Hit the like and that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. You can also send us a super thanks right here on YouTube. Goes a long way. Helps us on this daily video grind. Today, we're going to be talking about some more Power Ranger fan theories. I made a video just a few days ago and you guys lit it up. We got it almost 4,000 views and 100 likes. But what I love are all of these awesome comments down here. And I thought we would read them, break them down, see what theories can hold up, which ones don't. And this is just fun. We, we have fun. We're at that, that stage where we're in the middle of, of season one and season two. And we got to come up with some fun content to hype it up. So we have 57 co uh, comments and we'll just kind of start. So Pallavi Ghost says, I think Void Knight might be in his base only, but when he fell off his helmet saved him, but instead his helmet was damaged. He might be laying on the floor, but anyway, away from his helmet. That's true. Or he could be gone. He could be repairing himself. He might be messed up. We don't know where Void Knight is, but I, I get what he's trying to say. Um, then you got Paladin Zoro says, part of me thinks that Lord Zed will take over as the main villain near the end of the season. Absorb a Sporix and mutate into Iraz. Oh, I know Iraz was female in the original Super Sentai, but they have changed gender for villains before. And there's a similarity in their color scheme, outfit, bulging muscle red, huh? I don't know, like, that's actually not a bad idea. It would just kind of be sad that we got Zed and then he turns into something else. I would almost love for them to give us Zed and give us that Araz character. Um, but definitely not a bad idea. Like, I gotta hit the like and hit the heart on that. Um, when will Snag Eyes show up in Season 2 of Dino Fury and goes after Void Knight soon? I bet he's going to be within the first five episodes of season two. You'll see a snag guy. Um, I think Void Knight will help the Rangers feel with, deal with Lord Zed and maybe Santara. Yeah, th that's not a bad idea, bro. I think that Void Knight is going to be the anti-hero because maybe something's going to happen to Santara later on in the story that maybe she gets kidnapped or turn evil or so many different things. And now you've got Void Knight trying to team up with the Rangers. Um, I don't know if it's still going to stay on Nick at this point. Note, I stopped bashing on the Nick era Power Rangers. Um, It's not going to be on Nick for very long. They've got it to like it. They, they're going to play probably every episode and the Christmas special, and then they're going to get rid of it. Um, I don't really bash the Nickelodeon Rangers in a sense. I've just, I felt like for the last few years, Nickelodeon has really dropped the ball on promoting the brand and trying to take it back to the next level. They're kind of just done with Power Rangers, um, which it's just a sign that they need to move up. I mean, Nickelodeon ain't even that cool any, anymore. Like it's not, it's not that cool anymore. Um, their numbers are dropping like flies. Uh, Paramount Plus is kind of lackluster at this point. It's decent, but it's not the best streaming platform. Power Rangers and Hasbro, they're 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 in the right situation. They're getting out of Nickelodeon at just the right time. You know, 10 years ago, Nickelodeon was almost the home to most cartoons, and it made sense. Now you need to get the hell out and try some new stuff because Nickelodeon doesn't care about Power Rangers at this point. That's the only thing that I can really hate. I didn't think they did anything too wrong with the brand. I just didn't like the last few years of, I mean, you have two good seasons in Beast Morphers and Dino Fury, and the only commercials you see are the paid ads from Hasbro themselves. It, it's just kind of sad. Um, so Hater Review says, I'm still trying to figure out if Void Knight will be coming back since we have the footage of him fighting against Snag. Oh yeah, he'll, he'll be back, buddy. It, it, there's... There's something that I said last week or a few episodes ago that just stands out. It's how in the heck did Void Knight and Santara get back to Area 61? Obviously, he had to teleport them there, meaning that he's still alive. Like his helmet might be on the ground, but 
Santara's still there. Like, she should have blown up, and so should he. He must have teleported him out at the last second. Got a hold. Did something, man. Um, And then... Hayden says maybe instead of Void Knight, they could start calling him the Dino Fury Purple Ranger. See, I don't know if he's forever going to have that purple costume. That's kind of something that we know that there's a Ryu Soul Brown, kind of. So, I don't know. We, you could be right. I don't know if they'd call him, like, the Purple Ranger, though. I think they're going to call him something Knight. It only makes sense, you know? Um... I really hope we get a 30th anniversary version of the Legendary Battle. I wonder what Hasbro Riders could do with the Legendary Battle itself. Oh, yeah. If if we have a Legendary Battle like that, I guarantee it will be better than the one back in 2012, 2013. They know what the fans want. They know what we need, and we know what sells these days. And Power Rangers is doing a good job on best of the both worlds. Um, okay, then... Palavai Ghosh says the next villain is Ross and Lord Zed. Yeah, that sounds about right. You're probably right. Um, here's what I'm hoping for for the upcoming Power Rangers Dino Fury Season 2. Okay, Carrie, what do you got? Another Power Rangers team up with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1. Dino Thunder, Dino Charge again as the series' theme on Dinosaur. See, that's going to be tough. That's going to be tough to do this again because this footage was actually from, like, was already used. So I don't know how you do all of that, honestly. I don't know if this can happen again. I just, I I, I would not be against it. But at the same time, you're going to have Dino Charge and Dino Thunder and Mighty Morph and all three of these seasons return and just forget about everything else. Um then he's got another Halloween and Christmas episode, just like Power Rangers, Samurai, Dino Charge, Super Charge, and Ninja. Okay, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Learn about Void Knight's origin backstory at, uh, at last of where he gets the armor, his real name. How does he know about the Sporks and Santara end in the pod in the first place? Yeah, how did Santara get in the pod? I really like that. That's what I want to find out too, buddy. Um... Void Knight will no longer be the villain halfway in the second season as he had managed to collect enough sporks to revise his beloved Santaro, but she'll transform into an evil monster and turn on Void Knight at the end, which Arraz will become the second villain. Ooh, okay, I like that. I really like that idea, Carrie. Also, Mucus and his minion will turn their back on Void Knight after learning that he had no intention to conquer the universe at all. Oh, I love this. So, long story short, and and you're right though, because he never talks about conquering the world. He talks about getting the sparks for power, for for power for his machine, and no one knows what the machine is. Mucus wants to know, and that's why he's very secretive about it. Totally makes sense. So he collects enough sporics to bring Santara back, turns her evil. And she turns on him. And then once Mucus and Slyther realize that he's not really evil, they turn on him. That is that is an awesome theory, Carrie. Amazing. Boy Knight will return halfway in the second season for redemption to make amend from his past wrongdoings. He'll become the Bronze Ranger, the good version of himself, to help the Rangers stop the evil queen Sporix arise once and for all. Dude, I loved that, Carrie. That was that was one of the best write-ups so far. Um, Hayden says, what do you think the Ma Max Ryu Soul Red Power-Up is going to be called? I found this one video that's calling it Maximum Battleizer. Oh, man, I don't know. I'm I'm good at names, but I don't know what you would call that Battleizer. The... I don't know. I, I got to think on that. You got me on the spot there. Um, my prediction for season two is that Amelia is going to be half Rafconian. Okay, read my. Let's explain more, Falcon Flyer. Let's say Santara is one of the original knights. She made it into the pod, but the Megazora blew before he could eject. As a result, the pot was damaged. It kept her alive, but her body got messed up. Um, cut to, I guess, 20 years ago. Amelia's father who worked at Area 62 with Pop Pop, found Santara and freed her from the pot. They fell in love, had a baby, and Santara also told him about the Sporix. However, as a result of that 65 million year old deal, shortly after Amelia was born, Santara got sick. 
So Void Knight had no choice but to put her back into the pod while he had tried to find a cure. I think it all fits. Wow, Falcon Flyer. This is amazing too. Oh my gosh. So you're, you're telling me that he's an explorer. He found Santara and got her up and running, got her out the pod, and then she got real sick. And now he's doing everything in her power, in his power to bring her back, huh? Interesting. Um, I'm hoping for Lord Zed to be the new main villain that would totally rock and later have a ranger team up and some kind to help the Dino Furies rangers defeat Lord Zed. Oh yeah, I want to I wanna team up too. After Lord Zed is destroyed, Void Knight comes back to take back his place and tries to wake up Santara again. Hmm. That's not bad. Um, I would love to have Lord Zed at the villa as one of the main villains. It would be so much fun. Um, Stephanie said, "Will Zato Amelia get together because Pink and Red always get together?" Nah, it that that's gonna be a Ollie Amelia thing if anything like that happens. I can't I can't deny that they're they've been playing with that since episode one. Like they just have something. There's a chemistry there, and it's opposites attract. They're so different that deep down, I think they really like each other. Um, maybe Lord Zed will summon Lokar. Ooh, that would be fun. I want some new Power Rangers series for next year. Oh, yeah, me too, bro, me too. Uh, for me, I want the final battle, Araz and Megazord battle. That would be fun. Um, I want to see Ollie and the Petrofreeze battle armor and the caliber power-up like it it should in Super Sentai, and I want to see Ali more character developed than Javi. Hey, Ali has been developed very good lately. I don't know if you've seen the, the international spoilers, but they have done an amazing job developing Ali now. Um, I said before I saw that second half of the season that Ali needs to be developed more. They developed him very good, and now Javi is the next guy that needs to be developed more. Just wanna put that out there, guys. Javi needs a little bit more writing. Ali, we can kind of pick up on everything Ali's doing now, and I love it. Um, I hope not, Lord Zed. I want a different main villain. Man, what do you mean? Okay, I respect that. I respect that. But Lord Zed's badass, dude. He's awesome. Season 2 is a Netflix series. Yes, sir. I think the Dino, Thunder, Ninja, Steel, Beast, Morphers, and Mighty Morphin will team up with Dino Fury. Oh, geez. Well... Maybe Ninja Steel, Beast Morphers. I don't know about Dino Thunder, but that'd be kind of fun. Uh, he can't wait for the Ninja Steel team up. I hope that happens, by the way. That would be fun. Um, you can't wait for season two. Season two, I don't know when it's coming to YouTube. That's a crazy question. I, how would I know that? I don't know. But um, I think in season two, first episodes, um, one to eight, Void Knight will help the Rangers, but the Rangers don't know who he is. Uh, so he can get the sparks and bring Santara back. Um, in season two, it will be a two new Zords. And in season two, episode eight, the debut of the Red Ranger Super Armor Mode. And maybe Boynet and Santara are Amelia's parents. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bats on Ollie and Amelia. I agree, Maxine. Um, hey, shout out, Matt, for giving me some love. Um, hope there will be a team up with... Beast Morphers and Ninja Steel, that would be fun. And then uh, Amelia and Ali, couple, that, that's that's another one that's that's a good idea. Zato loves Amelia. Dude, I just don't see it, man. Um, who do you will get the Petra Freeze Zord? I, I, think, I think they might both get it. It would be fun to see Ali with the, with the Petra Freeze. That'd be fun. So, or Terra Freeze, Petra Freeze. I can't even talk, guys. That's okay. Um, but I think I went through all of these. You let me know your next um, your next predictions, and we'll just keep this going. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching the fan club, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscription button, and also hit that notification bell to stay in the algorithm. Do you guys support the fan club? You want to help us make our next episode and keep this show running? Well, check out our brand new fan club t-shirts. These are on our Square site. Go check that out. Go check us out on all social media platforms. And thank you for rocking with us, guys. Peace.